This video shows you how to use the Spark SQL programming model within a notebook in IBM Watson Studio. Spark includes extension libraries that can be used for SQL and data frames, streaming, machine learning, and graph analysis. In this video, you'll see how to build SQL queries to extract the number of crime incidents with a specific nature code. In Watson Studio, navigate to your project, either one that you created or the default project, or create a new project. On this screen, you can create new notebooks or add data assets to the project. In this scenario, we'll be uploading a JSON file containing crime statistics in the Boston area. Once the upload is complete, the file will be listed in the data assets. Now create a notebook. Name it Crimes Analysis. Select the Scala language and Spark 2.1 along with the Spark service instance to use. When you're ready, create the notebook. For the purposes of this video, the code is filled in. Here's where data science experience notebooks make it so easy to load the dataset. In the File slide out panel, locate the JSON file, click Insert to Code, and choose Insert Spark Session Data Frame. These statements use your object storage credentials to read the contents of the crimes.json file, assign it to the DF data variable, and then display the first five rows. This next statement creates a new temporary view using a Spark data frame in the Spark session, and then displays a count of the records in the data frame. So there are 269 crime incidents reported in this data set. Spark SQL can automatically infer the schema for this JSON file. This next statement lets you take a look at that schema. You can see that there is a lot of information for each crime incident. Once the data is in a temporary view, you can use SQL to process the data. This next cell contains a typical SQL statement. SQL statements can be simple, as in this case, or very complex. In this case, we're collecting just the different nature codes for the reported crime incidents. From here, it may be interesting to determine how many crimes have each nature code. This SQL statement selects all records from DF data where the nature code is Larson. And the next statement indicates that there are 27 crime incidents involving larceny. You can leverage the other extensions using the same common programming framework for streaming, machine learning, and graph analysis. We hope this video has shown you how easy it is to use Spark's SQL. Find more videos in the IBM Watson and Cloud Platform Learning Center.